So you say that Jesus physically existed with the Father? Along with the angels, yes. What, in, 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 in materialistic sense or in God's knowledge? No, not in God's knowledge. The angels don't just exist in God's knowledge. So are you saying Jesus actually sat beside the Father? Yes. For, so. Like right from the beginning? Uh, not from the beginning because he's the firstborn of all creation. So, you, so who came first, the Father or the Son? Father, absolutely. So that means the Son didn't exist at one point? Exactly. So how could you be always with, with the Father then? I had to say he was always with the Father. You just said, you just said that the Father and the Son coexisted. Yes, before he came to earth. Yeah, so in other words, so in other words, doesn't mean that he always existed. Just that he was here before. No, he came no, to coexisted, earth. always existed means the same thing. Just coexisted means. I didn't say coexisted. Not necessarily. Because I can coexist with someone. No, I understand. Before the, I go somewhere no, else. No, I understand. I understand the Christian tradition. You're saying that the Son incarnated into a human being, and that Son yes. was not a human being, but he was with the Father. Yes, the yeah. angels were too, though. Yeah, the angels were too. Yeah. Okay, so are they creation of the Father? Yes. Are they? Yes. So they didn't exist at one point? Exactly. Okay, then... And this then, is what the Bible says. The yeah. Bible says that, that Jesus was the firstborn of all creation, which means he was the very first thing that came from the Father. Okay, so was Israel. He was called Israel is my firstborn son. Yes. So that's the reason David why... As well. David as well in Psalms, Psalms 2 verse 7. Yes. Yeah. So the, here's the problem. A lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of people do not understand the nuances of the Hebrew language. That's the problem. That's the reason why many Christians they they try to fit into the theology of Jesus, but they don't look at the the original understanding, right? For example, Moses called Elohim, right? In Exodus chapter seven, verse one. But no Jew can will tell you that Moses is God. They say the Creator, Barashit Elohim. Yeah, God is the Creator. Yeah, exactly. So they will not say that Moses is God. Yeah. No, no, no. I only know the basics. I don't claim to. I I got the Jewish study Bible. Yeah. Okay. I look into it. Yeah. That's some. Yeah. So what happened is, there's a uh, what do you call? It? There's a lost in translation. Yes. So what happened is, at the time of Jesus, peace be upon him, it is possible that the word Father could have could have been used by Jesus in the Aramaic language. If you read in uh, in Tafsir Ibn Kathir, in Surah Maida chapter five, verse eighteen, you look at the Tafsir. They say that it's possible that in the Aramaic language of Jesus, yeah, yeah, if you look at the Tafsir ibn Kathir, it's possible that Jesus could have referred to Allah as the Father. Because the Jews did not understand the Father as the literal Father. It means Father as a Rabb. Yeah, meaning that he's a caretaker, he made, that's what fathers do, right? Which that's is the how I like to look at it. But what happened? Yeah. What does using the word Father mean? Yeah. It automatically should tell you that he is the source and that he is greater. Exactly. Right? But the problem is, it's been polluted by yes. Greek Hellenistic. Yes. Roman uh, yes, mythology. Absolutely. That's where Christianity absolutely. comes in. Yes. Because now they understood the word father from what the Jews understood as caretaker, maintainer, which is supposed to rob. Right. Now they put their own paganistic roots that he's the begotten son of God. And it's because they had yes. this idea that Zeus had children. Exactly. And so they interposed Jesus. That's where the concept that. that's where the concept of begotten came in. Yes. So what so what yes. we say as we Muslims, we believe that Jesus is the messenger of God. He was no more than a man. But he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. See, I believe with the previous scriptures that he was more than a man, that he pre-existed as the archangel all human, all, before coming to earth. All human beings, all of the creation of God pre-existed in God's knowledge. As, as archangels? Yes, I, I'll give you the evidence. In Surah Araf, chapter 7, verse 172, Allah says that we extracted from the loins of the children of Adam and we asked him, and we asked him, am I not your Lord? We said, yes, you are. So this is an evidence that in God's knowledge we all pre-exist. Yes, no I, I understand that concept that, yeah. you know, in, in Abraham, right, all his seed were all counted in Abraham. In God's knowledge, yeah, yeah, seed, right? yeah, yeah. That's not what I'm talking about. So what I'm are you talking, talking about? I believe that Jesus was actually a sentient being. He was moving around, walking around. He had his own mind. He existed prior to coming to earth. But he was born. But he was born. Yes, he was Michael. Yes, he was Michael. I believe he was Michael. Michael. One of the archangels. Where's the evidence for that? You go to the book of Daniel and you look at how the the word the titles for Michael are used. Calls Michael your prince, and it also calls the Messiah your prince. Which Messiah? There's many Messiah. Not in Daniel. There's one Messiah in Daniel. No, I, I, no, no, I'm asking you, so I'm was, there only, was there only one Messiah? I'm talking about the Messiah, not a Messiah. So who's the Messiah according to you? Isa al-Masih. 
And how does he fit the criteria? How does he fit the criteria? Yeah. Being the Messiah. Yeah. In that in that in that prophecy. So many criteria. Give me one example from Daniel. All right. Um, if you go to Daniel chapter twelve. Yep. Yep. There's really not a lot of references to Michael in the scripture. Okay. So you don't believe Michael is an angel? I do believe he's an angel. I believe he's the archangel. So do you believe Jesus is an angel? The archangel, yes. Okay, I'll Jesus give it the evidence. Jesus was Michael. Jesus was Michael, but he became an angel. No, 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 no. no. Michael yeah, the, sorry, became we're, we're Jesus. Just Jesus. Yeah. Just That's how I believe. Thank you. Michael, Michael became, became Jesus. Jesus. Michael became Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But doesn't Jesus deny that? But didn't Jesus say he's a man, flesh and blood? Yeah. Yes, he was. Okay. Um, so Daniel 12 okay. says, At that time there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. So whose prince is he? He's Daniel's prince. Right. Right? Daniel's prince. Okay, where does he say he's the Messiah here? Okay, if you go back to Daniel 9, I'm just I'm just pointing out that okay. Michael and Messiah are used interchangeably. Okay. I don't think the word Messiah, don't think the Messiah is there. I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah. Uh, Daniel 9. I'm pretty sure he's not there. Oh, it is. Sorry. Is the anointed one, right? Okay. So one who is anointed and a leader, there shall be 72, okay, da, 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 and it comes down here. And yeah, but he says an anointed. There's no problem with that because Cyrus in the, in Isaiah 45 yeah. verse one he was a Messiah. He's not talking about Dan, he's not talking about Cyrus. So this is much after. The no, no, I'm giving example. No, I'm giving example where even in, even Cyrus in Isaiah 45 verse one Cyrus was a Messiah. He was anointed. Yes. So no problem. A with that. Messiah. Yes. Even David was a Messiah. Aaron was a Messiah. Actually, in fact, do you know what we say? We say all messengers are a Messiah because they were chosen by God. That's no problem. I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. No problem with that. Um, what version is this? But it doesn't say that Michael America. turns into the Messiah. Okay. It doesn't mention okay. Catholic. Okay. Yeah, St. Joseph edition. Yeah. yeah, because in here, it, I believe it says Prince as well, and I'm not seeing that. So, do you mind if I just... Yeah, no, sure, sure. sure. Sorry. Go ahead. Hmm. There's actually two Messiahs mentioned in that. Is it, exactly. Exactly. I remember I read this chapter. Yeah. Verse 25. Yeah. Oh, I just lost it. 25. Yeah, 9, 25, and 26. It says, Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of command to restore and build Jerusalem until Messiah the Prince. So in Daniel 12, we have Michael the Prince. Yeah. And here we have Messiah the Prince. So I believe they use interchangeably. The Messiah is Michael. Okay. And is this the same Hebrew word? Or is it different? Because in my the, one, it says prince? leader. He says leader. There yeah. are two words that I'm aware of in Hebrew for Prince. There's Sar and Nasi. Okay. And I believe this would probably be Sar. So where did Jesus claim he's Michael? Because here in the New Testament. He never claims to be Michael. So but he what? does claim to be pre-existent. He says, before Abraham was, I am. Okay, okay. Uh, do you know the context of that? Yes. What is the context? The context is the Jews were um, giving him a hard time. The Pharisees. About? About his About? origins. Okay. And what was he trying to establish? He was trying to establish his authority. Right, they were questioning his authority, they were questioning him, who he was. Okay, but what's he trying to, what's he claiming? Well, to them, they got very offended because they knew what he, they knew exactly what he was claiming. He was claiming to be more no, than they just human. No, they didn't knew. No, that's incorrect. If you read John's Gospel, um, many Jews, as well as the disciples of Jesus, they were not sure what Jesus was claiming. They wanted to stone him for blasphemy. No, uh, so they thought he was claiming some form of divinity. But Jesus was not clear. That's the reason. That's the reason why many of the many of the biblical scholars they viewed uh, the, the, the figure of Jesus in John's Gospel as an esoteric figure, meaning that his his usage of words are very ambiguous, very cryptic, and that's the reason why you have many Jews. They're questioning. Okay, what's he claiming? Is he claiming to be the Messiah? Is he claiming the Son of God? Is he claiming to be a prophet? So that's the reason why whatever Jesus is saying is blasphemy.
because Jesus is not being clear. And if you read in, in, in earlier in John's Gospel, many of the disciples deserted Jesus. Why? Because they said, your, heart, uh, your, your words are too heavy for us. And they, they, uh, they left. So that means the identity of Jesus was not clear, according to the Jews. So that's the reason why when Jesus was using these very cryptic language, of course the Jews would take it as a blasphemy. But Jesus always clarifies afterwards. So when you mention, it's mentioned in John chapter 8 verse 58, which is what you're quoting, before Abraham was I am, what he's saying is that the context is, Jesus saying that your father, uh, your father Abraham rejoiced my coming of my days, right? Then the Jews said, you're hardly 50 years old. Then Jesus said, before Abraham was I am. Now, Jesus was claiming, I am the Messiah that was spoken about. That's it. That's an interpretation. No, I'll, gi I'll give you the evidence. I'll give you the evidence. If you read in John chapter 9, verse 9, even the blind man, even his sentence is constructed as I am. But why did the translators, why did they put the bracket, parenthesis? Why did they put the parenthesis in John chapter 8, verse 58? That's very disingenuous. So the context is that Jesus is saying that, look, I was the Messiah that was spoken of even before Abraham was born. Meaning in God's knowledge, we all pre-existed. I guess this is where you have to go to more than one verse because I believe there's lots of verses that speak to his pre-existence. That's no problem. Even we exi uh, even we pre-existed in God's knowledge. No problem. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. No, if, no, you're talking about uh, like a uh, physical existence. Yes, consciousness. Yes. Consciousness. Conscious. 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 Sentient existence. Okay, yes. conscious. Right. So was Jesus born? Yes, he was. Okay. So if he was born, does he does that not mean he has a beginning? Yes, he has a beginning. I'm not disputing that. So he did not always exist. The, the very correct. Right. So he did not pre-exist? No, you can pre-exist and still be born. So, how, how does that make sense? How does that make sense? How yeah. does some of the things that God did make sense? No, 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 no. You see, you see, we don't God... understand it in their natural world, but no, no, it is entirely possible for someone to exist as an angel and then God to recreate okay. them in the womb of Mary. Okay, first of all, where does Jesus say that he's Michael? He doesn't say that he's Michael. So why do you believe... Why do you believe the Old Testament is referring to Jesus then? Because the Old Testament over and over again talks about the angel yeah. of the Lord, the angel yeah. of Yahweh. Okay, because the prophet Daniel uses the terms yeah, yeah. referring to Jesus, yeah. the Messiah. No, you're interpreting that out. My, my, my question if is... If you look at the context, that's in Daniel chapter no 9, Even, which actually gives yeah. it a very exact 490 year prophecy yeah, sure. to the time of Jesus, no to the day. No problem, no problem. Even for the sake of argument, let's say this, this talks about Jesus, for example, Michael. Uh, why didn't Jesus explicitly mention he's the he's the one that's spoken about in Daniel? Why do none of the Christians believe that uh, Jesus was Michael, except you? Uh, that's actually not true. There's actually quite a few Christians that believe that. Very few, but it's not mainstream, is it? It's not mainstream, no. But then again, a lot of truth is not mainstream. So in the Trinity, so you don't believe in the Trinity, right? No. Yeah, very, very clear. La ilaha illallah. There's none worthy to be worshipped except Allah. Okay. Is he a messenger of God? Yes. Prophet of God? Yes. He's the Messiah? Yes. He's not God? Not God. He's not Allah. Then no problem. I mean, we're on the same page with that. No, but the problem is your understanding or pre-existence, we don't agree with that. That's because fine. The, you don't agree with it, that's fine. That's I see fine. that in the previous scriptures, and so I believe it. But I find it quite strange that no, no Christian ever, uh, no Christian that I've ever come, that I've ever come across, ever uses the prophecy from Daniel to stipulate that Jesus you, can was add, you can ask a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses or Seventh Day Adventists, and they will tell you that they believe that Michael is Jesus. Yeah. Uh, so who, who are they? Hmm? Who are they? I just want to research. Jehovah's Witness or Seventh Day Adventists? They're not. They're not. They're not Christians. They're uh, heretics. Actually, they're heretics. Seventh Day Adventists are Christian because they are Trinitarian. I, I, I tell you one thing. Even a Catholic would not view Protestants as Christians. Jehovah's Witness might not be. Christian because I don't know if they're Trinitarian or not, it but Seventh-day Adventists even, are definitely it, it, Christian even, because they are Even Catholics don't consider Protestants to be Christians. Do you know why? Because you know Catholics, they believe in 73 books. Yeah. The Protestants believe in 66 books. Hey, and, uh, you and, have the, and a lot of Sunnis don't believe that Shias that's are different. Muslim. That's different. No, it's the same thing. No, because we have the same Quran. No, because one sect we have the same, that no, doesn't no, believe the other, we, no, no, and no. they have the same Bible. We have the same, no they don't. Don't lie, please. <laughs> look. You look at you look at the Catholic you look at the the Catholic Church. They have seventy three books. The Protestants have sixty six books. Ethiopian Church have completely different. Uh, the Latin, I think they have eighty two books, right? Is it, is it a Vulgate, I think. So right? how do you define Christian? Huh? How do you define Christian? That's not my problem. <laughs> That's the reason why we need the final prophet to deal with all this problem. Because the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he came to clarify all of these matters, and he is the last and final messenger of God. 
And we believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, right? Even Allah says in the Quran, in chapter 3, verse 59, Allah says, Inna mathal Isa in Allah ka mathali Adam, khalaquhu min thurab, thumma qala lahu kum faikun. Indeed, the likeness of Jesus in the sight of Allah is like that of Adam. He created from dust and says, be and it is. So this demonstrates that God can create his creation in many different ways, right? Now, we believe in the angels to be one of the six pillars of Iman, one of the six pillars of faith. And angels are created from light. And this mentioned the hadith. And the, in terms of the names of the angels, we can only verify eight. But there could be more, right? There could be more. Uh, so for, for example, you have Jibrail, Gabriel, he was the archangel. His job was to send revelation uh, to the prophets and messengers. You have Michael, Mikhail, who was responsible for uh, plantations and rain and vegetation. Then you have Israfil blowing the trumpet. Uh, then you have Kiram and Katabin. They're not so Kiram and Katabin is not a name. It's a uh, it's it's a role. Uh, they're the writers of our deeds. So you have the left and the right angel. Then you have Mukran and Nakir. They would, they're the two angels that will be asked in the grave. But however, that we will be asked questions in the grave. The first three questions: Who is uh, who is who is your Lord? What is your Dean? Who is a prophet? So we believe in the angels. So therefore, you cannot say that Jesus is an angel because Jesus is, is not created from light. Jesus is a human being just like us. He's a basha. Maybe in a metaphor. Like an well, an say, angel, an angel, an angel, the Hebrew word is are you, are you saying, which means messenger. Uh, sorry? Yeah, that's what, actual Malik. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree, I agree. Malikim. We believe angels are messengers. Yeah. Yeah. Hagar is actually yeah. called an angel of the Lord. Yeah. The angel of the Lord, yeah. Yeah. Or messenger of the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Now, if yeah. you say, okay, what, what Nazim brought up, <laughs> if you say metaphorically angel, like for example, in the, in the Quran, in yeah. Surah Yusuf, right. if you know the story of Joseph in the Quran, Surah Yusuf, oh, yeah. when they, uh, when, um, he was dressed when, up, yeah, when the Egyptians, yeah. when they discovered that, that Joseph was in the well, what did they say? We found someone who's an angel. Now, that does not mean literally he's an angel, but in terms of the looks, you know, it looks purity. Do you believe there are literal what? angels as well? Spiritual. Do you believe that there are literal angels as well? Spiritual literal angels. Beings? No, those who say that they're just spiritual forces are misguided. No, they are physical creatures. They're from the. But angels can sometimes come in the form of. Because the, the evidence uh, that angel Jibrail sometimes used to come as a man to Mary, to, uh, to Prophet means Muhammad. Man of God. Yeah, Jibra'il, yes, yes. So uh, from, from the principle of Ahl Sunnah Jama'ah, we believe in Karama. So Karama meaning that sometimes, you know, angels can, some, can do miracles, but not mu'jizah, like what prophets come with. That's different. Yeah. So I believe that Jesus is a human being like us, but he's a special human being. That's what I believe. Well, but he's no more than... Father. Yeah. Direct from the mouth of Allah. Just like Adam. Adam was created, and this is the Not argument just from the like Adam. Yeah, it is because look. Not because Adam was made from clay, and Esau was created in the womb of Which Mary is more okay, but not Adam, clay. but Adam did not have a father. Adam or did not a have a mother. Or a mother. So which is more superior? Let, let, let's say for the sake of Christians always use this. I would say that Esau is more superior. What? Wait, wait, wait. Because Adam was made from clay, dirt. No, but Esau was not created from dirt. I, I, I think that's from more miraculous. He is the Kalim of the law. Now, for me, for me, this is more miraculous that. You know, uh, that Adam alayhi was created from clay. That's more miraculous because uh, from, 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 from the mother is, is conscious, but from clay is not conscious. So how this is more miraculous. But however, we don't use this argument so to say saying, Adam is, is superior to Jesus. The, the we don't miracle say of Jesus making clay birds is That's even different. more miraculous than his birth. No, that, no, 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 no. We don't distinguish like that. What are you saying? Life no, no. from clay is more miraculous no, 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 than no. life being spoken. No, no, no. The, it is. No, what the Quran is doing, the Quran is giving, is giving argument to the Christians to try to show them that, look, the creation of Jesus is like that of Adam. Not meaning it's identical. It means how easy God says be and it is. Yes. That's it. Very simple. Yes. But that does not mean Jesus superior to Adam or Adam superior to God. It's what does Allah say in the Quran? La We do not. We do not uh, make messengers. We do not make any messengers distinct. We don't say this messenger is. You know, uh, we believe in all the prophets and messengers, right? Yes. However, and we yet do. Some are raised in rank. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. No problem. We're, from Ahlus Jamaa, we do believe that amongst the prophets and messengers, they have their own ranks. But we do not say that we disbelieve in one prophet and we disbelieve the other. No, we don't say that. Yeah. So, the, so therefore, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala just says, "Be and it is," just like He did with Adam. No problem. Are you holiday? Yeah. But He was not an angel. 
it was a human being like us, as a sign for mankind, to announce the coming of the last and final messenger of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and And I can definitely see how you would arrive at that conclusion using the Quran alone. No, I, no, no, I'm not Quran. No, I'm saying the Quran alone as your primary source, right, of scripture. You have the Hadith as well, but you don't consider that the same level as the Quran. Well, we believe, well, I'll just clarify, we, be, we believe that the Quran and the Sunnah are two revelations. Yes, but one is higher than the other. We don't. Yes. Really? In that, no, 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 no. Not, not in that sense. Same level as the Quran. No, no, not in the same level as the Quran. No, okay, no, no. That's no. all I'm saying. No, no, no. no. What I'm saying is the difference is the revelation of Allah is the is the verbatim words of Allah. The Sunnah is the statements, the actions, the tacit approvals of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. So we believe that these two are revelation from God. Allah says in the Quran uh, in Surah Al-Najm, Surah 53, uh, in the opening, it says that uh, the Prophet does not speak out of his own desires, but only revelation from God. Okay, so therefore we do not distinguish between the Quran and Sunnah. No, we follow both the Quran and the Sunnah. Yes. You understand what I mean? Unless one disagrees with the Quran. There's no Sunnah that disagrees with the Quran. There's the Eif Hadith. No, that's different. Hadith. That's no, no, that, no, 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 that, that's different. Hadith is just a documentation of his Sunnah. Yeah. So the, therefore, the Hadith is the, the, this is the science of Hadith to establish okay the chain of narration. The matter the text, you know, does it conform to what the Prophet peace be upon him said? The the narrators, do they have good memories? Are they trustworthy? Right? No problem. Does that make sense? So the Sunnah, the authentic Sunnah, will never criticize the Quran. Anyone who says I follow the Quran alone, they're not Muslims, because even the Quran. I disagree, because Muslim why? is only defined by someone who submits to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And how do you submit to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? How do you submit to it? Yeah. From your heart. Does it say that in the Quran? It starts with your heart. Where did it say that? Where do you say that? It starts with your intentions and then becomes an action. No. The Quran, no, no, no. Allah, no, no. Islam, you're giving, me, you're giving me a linguistic definition. Yes. But I'm giving you the technical definition. I understand. And I understand so. that Salafi Muslims will claim that there's no other real Muslims out there, but I disagree. No, 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 no. no. A Muslim, a Muslim means someone who submits to the will of God in Tawheed. Right? Now yeah, you're adding to it. No, 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 no. You're I, adding to the word. I'll give you the, I'll give you the evidence. Ibrahim alayhi salam, Prophet Abraham. Prophet Abraham. Yes. Yeah. Did he submit to one God alone in yes, worship? He yes, he did. He's okay. Muslim. Yeah, he's Muslim. He's Muslim. But did they have to follow the messenger? Which messenger was Abraham following? Well, at the time of Abraham, how do you think? How do you become a Muslim? Which messenger was Abraham? At the followed? time of Abraham, how do you become a Muslim? How do you become a Muslim? Yes. By submitting to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And to follow Abraham. Mm -hmm. And to follow Abraham. Who was Abraham following? Abraham was following the commandments from God and he's our role model because the, the, because the best worshippers are the prophets and messengers. Ati Allah wa Rasul. Obey Allah and obey the messenger. This is very clear in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 59 and many other places in the Quran, right? So for you to dismiss the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then you're... I'm not dismissing the Sunnah. So what are you dismissing? So, but you said that you disagree with me. I, I disagree with how you view the Khatam al okay? When you say the seal, Muhammad is the seal, Muhammad is the seal. Hmm? Not Khatam al Khatam al ah, Yes. I believe that that means that he put his seal of approval on the previous scriptures and on the writings of the previous prophets. So there will be, there, there will be another prophet after him? Is that what you believe? No, oh, no, no. I said previous. No, no, no. The prophet. So I believe, yeah. I believe in the authenticity of the messages of the previous scriptures. So I believe. No, that's one of. No, 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 no. That, that's one of the. No, no. That's one of the six pillars of Iman. We have to offend that. Yeah, but, but we could. But but, but. but do you believe the Bible is? Uh, yes, I do. Then, yeah, then that's, you're not. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's then, where I think we disagree. But, I follow up all the messages of the prophets. No, 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 no. And I believe that Muhammad sealed and authenticated the Bible no, as no, no. authentic. No, he doesn't say that. Show me one. The time when he actually held the Torah scroll in his hands. I know, you, you're, you're quoting from, uh, I think, uh, Abu Dawood, Surah Abu Dawood, yes. Bukhari. On oh, Bukhari? Yes, yeah, in Bukhari. It's in Abu Dawood. I know, I, show me. I, I can be mistaken. I know it's Sunnah Abu Dawood. Yeah, uh, Imam Al Abani, rahimahullah, he uh, classified this as Hassan. Okay. That Jewish school. This for YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I hope you don't. Well, mind. You can go to my channel, you Remnant Rendezvous. What, what's your channel? Remnant Rendezvous. Okay. And there's a video on there. that okay. Has all the references for yeah. where that came from. Sorry. What the, okay. What you misunderstood is Allah says in the Quran in Surah Maida, chapter number five, verse number forty-eight. Allah subhanahu wa taala mentioned that the Quran is a muhaimin. 
is a quality criterion, control yes. over the feed descriptors, right? Guardian criterion, right. yes. That means, that does not mean that we affirm everything that mentions in the previous scriptures because these previous scriptures have been corrupted. But what the Quran... So. Well, the Quran mentions in many places, you have a kalimata, that they, they displaced, they decontextualized, they played around the words of Allah. And Allah says in chapter 2, verse 79, It says yeah? that they Allah wrote the scriptures with their hands, but it never yeah. says that that got incorporated into the Bible. No, they say this is from Allah. So what they're doing is yes, they... It never says that that got incorporated into the Bible. No, no, what it says is that these books, they're claiming this is from God. Allah said these are not from God. So this is evidence that the previous scriptures have been corrupted. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came to confirm what is mentioned in the previous scriptures, but it also filters out the wrong stuff. Filtered out the wrong, trans the wrong translations, yeah. the wrong interpretations. But overall it's corrupted. But I don't believe the but actual... Overall, but overall it's corrupted. The translations are corrupted. I Transla don't wait, wait, the trans actual Hebrew is corrupted. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. Translation, the text, it's all corrupted. Not the actual Hebrew. Okay, how do you, how do you define the term corruption? It's a... Changing of it, an alteration, an addition, and didn't they do that? Didn't they do that? You don't think the Jewish Bible did that, as well as the uh, as well as the New Testament? No, we have that those writings. They were dispersed, just like just like Muslims say that the no, no, you know, every no, no. There's, there's you have this argument for the authenticity authenticity of the Quran that it was preserved because so many people memorized it. So how could you erase it and change it? No, we're not talking so about the Quran. We, we, no, we're talking about the Jews. We're talking you about don't the scriptures. Realize that the actual Torah was memorized by hundreds and thousands of Jewish boys by the time they were five years old and it was disseminated across the Mediterranean by the time of by the time of Esau. And so you can't argue with the authenticity of the Torah either. No, that, no, there just are some things that have been no, that's incorrect. Then, but you, we know what those things are. No, you misunderstood. I think you misunderstood the oral tradition, right? We Muslims, we say we have the unbroken chain of, uh, chain of narration. What does unbroken mean? For example, you have a chain and you have the ring, right? And every ring is connected to another ring. Can the Jews ever claim they have an unbroken chain? They do not have an it's not like Thank Muslims. you. Thank you. So so therefore, how that can doesn't mean wait, that it's not secondly, wait, 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 let me complete, let me complete, let me complete. We as Muslims, we have called Ijaza. Ijaza meaning it's like a teaching certificate, right? So if a person learned under a teacher that learned from someone, that learned from someone, it goes all the way back to the Prophet peace be upon him. You know where you got that system from? Where? The Jews. The Jews? Really? Yeah. What, unbroken chain? No, that's what they would do in their schools, is they would teach from one... I'm not denying, or, I'm not, I'm, I'm not denying oral tradition. Even the church say they have their own oral tradition. I'm not denying that. I'm asking you, can they claim that they have an unbroken chain of narration? If you're asking me if they have the names of all those people going way back, no. Yeah. And, and not only that, not only the names, do they know the person's biography? They're reliable, are they are their memory? Uh, I know you're smirking because you know this. No, I'm uh, not they, smirking because yeah. I don't even think Muslims really have that. Because oh, yes, we look do. Look at Bukhari. He's supposed to have gotten how many hundreds of thousands of hadith collected yes. and analyzed yes. in one lifetime. Yes, yes, yes. It's yes. not really mathematically possible. And did he didn't he filter to seven thousand? Hmm? Did he filter out to, to seven thousand? Even seven thousand. Okay, so you know, difficult right. to have an entire biography. So how much? Of. Okay, so g give me the five conditions of Bukhari to make a sahih. The five conditions. Yeah. I don't know the five. So conditions. So why are you mention about Bukhari without knowing? Hmm? Why are you mention about Bukhari without knowing what Bukhari did? I'm aware of what Bukhari did. No, you're just, no, 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 no. With all due respect, with all due respect, it's all good that they're throwing up num names. But I will test you because I, I did my basic research about Bukhari, right? So do you know the five conditions that makes it Sahih? From what I understand, let me see if I can guess at this. I've never heard it mentioned as five. Sure. Okay. That um, there was an unbroken chain. Yes, unbroken that chain. you know all the names of them. Sorry? And you know all the names of them, that you know that they're authentic, that they had good characters, mm -hmm. right? That they didn't, that they Don't. fed their donkey and they didn't mistreat their donkey. That was one of the conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? No, no, no. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. But that's not really how they define it. Let me give you this. First of all, Adam, trustworthiness. You know more than me. Yeah? Trustworthiness. Number two, double. Precision, accuracy. Number three, you're right, unbroken chain. Number four, there's no shad, meaning there's no irregularity, no oddness. And number five uh, is uh, no illa, no hidden defects. Now, if I was to test you each of them and you give me an example, would you be able to give it? On just one hadith? Yeah, give all of them. Example of all five? Yeah, so the Prophet, peace be upon him, he said in a hadith, he said that whoever attributes a lie about me, then let him take his seat to the hellfire. Do you know how many companions heard this from multiple chains? Yes, there's quite a few. No, a lot. 
There's, I think, the 75, if I'm not mistaken. 70. Do you know, this drift, this drove the muhaddis, the, per, the pers uh, uh, people who collect the hadith, to classify into categorization. Because to, li to attribute words against the Prophet, to lie against him, is a serious issue. So therefore, when we say it's Sahih, Da'if, Hassan, it's impossible for us to lie. It's impossible for us to lie. And if you're going to deny the, the hadith classification, you should deny the rest of history, the rest of secular history. Because our hadith methodology is much more stringent, much more robust than secular history. I'm not denying it. I'm not okay. denying it. I'm just saying that there is a similar system in the Jewish tradition with similar level of authenticity. Ask you them. just don't have the name. Ask okay, them. Ask have... them. No, no, no. Allah says in the Quran, they only follow what the forefathers told them. Very simple. So what you're talking about is just preservation from history. And of course, even 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 uh, Christians, they say, well, uh, uh, Mark is the uh, Peter's uh, scribe, right? I'm, arg so I'm arguing for preservation from mass distribution and dissemination. And how do you know all of them are reliable? Because they're all the same no, around the world. No, that doesn't mean that. Look, look, look. For example, a Hindu. Actually, do you know the Fatima in Portugal back in 1200s, right? You know the Fatima, they all saw the image, right? There are many, many people that claim that they saw this image, right? Would you believe it? Yes. Why would you believe it? Because I know that Shaitan can make... No, no, how do you know they're reliable? How do you know they're reliable? You have enough eyewitnesses. The Torah says that in the mouths of two or three witnesses, let every matter be established. Yeah. Two witnesses. Uh, are they reliable? Are they reliable? Two witnesses. No, are they reliable? I could bring two witnesses. So what? And they would have to agree. So what? I, I could bring I could bring twenty witnesses and they're all lying. Yeah, That's the, that so, that, so, so please, with all due respect, Lula, I've spoken to many Jews, and you can even you can even uh, you can even um, uh, you can even watch um, a previous discussion I had with a, a, a Jew. His name is David. About this topic, you cannot answer. Even the written Torah. Um, the extant manuscript, what's the latest? What's the what's the oldest copy that you have the, of the written uh, yeah, portions of it, the Dead Sea Scrolls? Uh, where, when does I, that I date? And even even then, it's not complete. Even in Jeremiah, gotta, there's gotta, the missing gotta chapters. Remember that they were copying these things and distributing. Not them. how many years after Moses? Hmm? How many years after Moses? Okay, I think the Dead Sea Scrolls were about thousand years after Moses. Yeah, a thousand years. So you're telling me, you're telling me that the Jews can compensate this a thousand years gap, and they can give you all the chain of narration that goes back to Moses. Seriously, let me give an example. Thank so God we have the Katham. No, no, no. For example, because he put his seal of authenticity wait, and approval uh, when he took that Torah. Let me give. Let me give the words of Allah. Let me give and it, go yeah. and do it. Let me give an analogy just to appreciate. Let's say, for example, the Quran. The Quran. We never had written Mus'haf. Only today in Speaker's Corner 2023 does a Mus'haf called the Quran. Uh, written script. script. Yeah, you know the papers? Script? It's called Mus'haf. Sah Sahul uh, Sefer in, in Hebrew, right? Let's say, for example, we never had the physical copy of the Quran. All of a sudden, after 1400 years later, we have a written copy of the Quran. Because so many people Wait, memorize it. Right? Let me complete. Let me complete. No, no, no. There was no memorization. Are you. Uh, can, would you believe in what the person says that this written copy of the Quran goes back to the Prophet? If there was like. Like you're saying, like 75 companions who all produced a manuscript that was the exact same based on their memory. But they're not exact same because you have the Masoretic text, you have the Samaritan text, they're all different. I'm not talking about a corrupted Samaritan text. I'm well, that's very important because which one did they memorize? The Samaritans were a mixed people. They're, gonna be they're not all the sentences of But they have, but the, you have the Masoretic text, you have the Samaritan text. So which one's right? We're talking about the Masoretic. Why is that right? Why is that the most reliable? Why is that the most reliable? Widely disseminated. It was memorized by countless Jews. If you would, with an unbroken history, with an unbroken history, if you would burn all the Torah scrolls, yeah, they could have recreated it from their memory. Okay. What? Just like you can make an argument. No, 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 no. What you're talking me? You're, you're talking about preservation from tradition. This is just a claim. No, no, no. What, what the Jews would tell you? What Jews would tell you? The Jews would say that the Torah was passed down to Joshua. That's what they say. But they can never give you an unbroken generation that goes all the way back to Moses. They can never. I challenge you. I challenge you. 
Genealogy is not a genealogy. I can't believe I saw the genius listed out. No. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm asking you. prophet that is come has quoted from these it's previous a, it's books. It's a false authentication. And, and authenticated them. No. Especially the Khatam. No, it's a false authentication. Muhammad, that's what his role was. It's a false authentication. His role was to authenticate the previous books. Okay, I'll give you the names. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in his lifetime, he had scribes. The chief scribe is Zaybin Tabi. Not allowed, anhu, right? And Zaybin Tabi, anhu, he memorized the Quran. And many, many other Sahaba also memorized the Quran. Alhamdulillah, during the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Okay? And therefore, this preservation is passed down traditionally with unbroken chain, no gap. No Jew can claim that. I challenge you. I agree. I agree. They can't then please give don't. Names. They then, can't please, give then, then please don't equate. Please don't equate the preservation of the Quran with the preservation of the Torah. Because these two are completely different. No, terms. absolutely. Then, because the Quran itself so, authenticates the previous scriptures. I'm sorry. The Quran itself authenticates the previous scriptures. No, authenticating. Yeah, but you misunderstood. Well, the Quran is a Mohammedan. Is yes, a so guardian. Right? Are you is saying it, that it, it failed in its job? No, no, no. It, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let, me, let me complete. Right. When the Quran mentions a Mohammedan of the previous scriptures. It means that the Quran affirms what is true and the Quran affirms what is false. So please right. tell me what the Quran said it for was example, false in the previous scripture. Yeah, for example, the Quran mentions uh, the, um, the belief in one God. So does Say the Quran. Say he's Allah one of You cannot find Trinity in the Bible. I didn't say Trinity. You cannot find anything. I, 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 I didn't say Trinity. But the I, he, no, you asked me what are the similarities. So I'm giving you similarities. No, I asked you to tell me one place where the Quran says this is where the Bible is inaccurate. No, the Quran mentions this book is a Muhammad. It's a quality control. Do you know what so tell me, tell me one let place me where it corrected Let, let me complete. Do you know, do, okay, what is the role of a guardian? What is the role of a guardian? A guardian? Yes. To yes. protect, preserve. Yeah. So, if the, yeah, so if the previous scriptures are protected, why is the Quran needed for protection? What? If the Quran, if the Quran came here as a guardian of the previous scriptures, and your claim is that the previous scriptures are not corrupted, why does the Quran need to come as a guardian? For us. No, 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 I'm asking you. I'm asking you very simple. You claim that the previous scriptures are not corrupted. So, and I'm asking, and I'm saying to you, the Quran is a guardian. And I asked you, what is the, what is the purpose of a guardian? You say it's to protect. If, if you believe the previous scriptures are already uh, protected, why is the Quran needed? They're protected. They're always protected and preserved. No, in Allah, no, no, in Allah's word, in Allah, I agree with you. But, yes. but I'm, I'm talking about the written words that is falsely ascribed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's the translations. The that's Quran part of corruption. Is protecting us from misinterpretation yeah, that's corruption. of the Bible. That's one of the forms of corruption. Another thing is decontextualizing. But that doesn't actually corrupt the Bible itself. That's a misunderstanding in our no, minds. You mis look, again, you misunderstood. Corruption could be from twisting your tongue, translation, which I agree with you, omitting and, ad and adding. Now, do we find this in the, in, the, um, in, the, in the Old Testament, New Testament? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely so. That's the reason why the Quran came here to protect is a guardian over the previous scripture. If you say the previous scriptures is is there's no corruption, there's no contradiction, there is no need for the Quran then. No, there is. No, there's no need for the Quran. What's the, I asked you, what is the role of a guardian? The role of a guardian is to protect. Yes. What is the need for protection if you say you're, previous scriptures are protected? And you're protecting the proper interpretation of those words. So you're only giving one side of the coin. Another thing Allah says in the Quran, يُحَرِّفُونَ kalimatu That they twisted. Yes, they yes. misunderstood. They, no, not they only taught, misunderstood. No, they no, no. The wrong interpretation. Not only of misunderstood. The text. Not only misunderstood. They shifted the words. You don't know this. Can you give me documentation? Book of Isaiah. Book of Isaiah. They say that uh, the book of Isaiah, especially, they were not placed correctly. It was shifted. Yeah. There that's the reason. Why, that's the reason why you have something called the pre-compositional text. You have the compositional text, you have post You're getting into scholars that don't well, have you, any faith. Well, you're asking me, so I'm giving you the evidence, okay. right? For example, for example, you got to remember that in ancient Hebrew, right, they didn't do books like we do books now. Okay. Animal skins were expensive, books producing, you know, writing things down was expensive, okay? Yep. So I know one of the arguments against the Torah being authentic is the fact that Moses records his own death. Yes, Moses records his own death, yes. Does he? Yes, he does. According it's to the, the Jews, they'll say that. <laughs> it's in the book of Deuteronomy. I know. You have to remember that the book of Deuteronomy is a modern construct. Of what? The chapters, the verses are all modern. It's a modern division of the Torah. 
originally... What, no, 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 you mentioned about Moses' uh, death. Yes. Do you believe that was authored by Moses, that that was written by Moses? No, I don't. Okay, so therefore this cannot be from Moses then? Then it's corrupted? No, no, Thank no, you no, 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 no. That means it's corrupted? No, 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 no. The, the thing is, like, we have it included in the book of Deuteronomy today. But it may not have always been part of the book of Deuteronomy, right? You have a precious scroll, it's expensive to make, it takes time and, yet and energy and resources. And yet you said you're it's not, out in a desert. but yet you said it's corrupted. And so let's, no, 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 no yet you said it's corrupted. No, yet you said it's preserved. That's what yes, you said. I'm saying it's preserved. Like an epilogue. Uh, and yes, yes. Yeah. I think that what Joshua did was he had this expensive, nice scroll and it had a blank spot at the end. And so Joshua started his book at the end of that scroll so this is, uh, no, and no, then no. continued in another scroll. Uh, this is an interpretation by the, some of the Jewish, uh, Jewish scholars, right? That the It's a hypothesis. The, the, it's a, I know it's a hypothesis, it's right? But they cannot explain. how we got something that maybe Joshua wrote yeah. in the book of Deuteronomy. But they cannot explain. They no cannot explain. No they, they the, the, the entire book of Deuteronomy has to be the original words of Moses. Wait, 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 wait. Every Jew no, every Jew says that. But that's an assumption. Every Jew, no, that's no, 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 no. Every, he wrote about his own death. I, I challenge you to ask any Jew here. They will say every word, every letter was written by Moses. Not you don't believe it? No, not not everyone, no. You don't believe it? I'm talking about Orthodox Jews. Even they, even they, not even. Yeah. You, you don't believe it? No. Some would say that Joshua. So what else? What else has been added and taken out? No, it wasn't what? added. It was continued. No, no. I, I'm, I'm just understand one thing. If I wrote a document, yes. And somebody added it without my authorization, is that now a preserved text? Wait, 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 is that the Joshua was a prophet no, no, I'm as well. Giving, no, I'm giving an example. And he's not adding to the Torah. You say he's a prophecy. He's using the rest of the scroll, or he's adding the rest of the story. No, no, no. He's not, he's not changing what was written. He's not altering what was written. No, he's that not is, adding I'm something not, in between. I'm not, no, 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 I'm not the one that's making the claim that Joshua wrote. I'm saying this is what Jewish scholars say. I'm saying you have to question some now. Say that, some say because that. Because you know, I wouldn't trust all Jewish you know, scholars. You know the Tanakh? The Tanakh is composed of what? Three three different uh, literature, right? Yeah, the Ketuvim okay. and the... Uh, that's it. Torah, uh, Chumash, Nevi'im and Ketuvim, right? So, what do you Jews say? They say that the Torah, the Chumash, which means five in Arabic, Khamsa five, are all written by Moses. That's what they all say. Now, when it comes to Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 5 to 6, they say Joshua wrote it. Now, ask the Jews, okay, then was this authorized by Moses? Yes, we have no evidence. But that's what I'm saying. You've got to wait, wait. recall that the book of so Deuteronomy not, so, itself. So, so it's not preserved. The book of Deuteronomy itself so it's not preserved. is a modern construct. No, no, no. I, I know, I know. I'm asking you, is it now preserved? What do you mean by a modern construct? I mean, like the, the what, verses what are you were not debating there about, about the Deuteronomy. Chapters, even the titles of the books were not there originally. So, so now, so now, so now, would you say that the ten, that the Qumash is preserved? Yes. And but I would say who the Qumash ends when Moses stopped writing. Who, 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 and then wait. the last part of Deuteronomy is part of the, who actually wrote, the book of Joshua. Who, who, wrote, who wrote the passage regarding the death of Moses? I believe it was Joshua, but we're not told. So he wasn't, and did he get this authorization from Moses? Or are you just assuming? So, so I could write a book and someone else can add and take it out of my book without my authorization. That's forgery. No, no, no. Of course. No. What else? If you have a communal, a community book, okay, and you're a prophet and you start writing it, and there's blank pages at the end, if the next prophet wants to come along no, I'm asking and you, add the next pages. I'm asking you who authorized, who authorized for Joshua to write uh, this passage regarding the death of Huh? Where's the evidence for that? He was a prophet. No. Yeah, see, see, again, you're not, you see, you're giving me claim, but you're not giving me evidence. So I'm asking you, I'm asking you, if this was authored by Joshua, did he get this authorization from Moses? No, I'm asking Moses because you. No, he didn't need it. Okay. If he had it from Allah, so you so you're making so you're making assumption. Yes. So you're making assumption. Also, I also told you that I'm assuming that Joshua probably wrote that. So therefore, so we're not told. So therefore, it could be likely that this may not have been authored by Moses. Yes. So therefore, the so therefore it's no longer preserved. No, no, no. <laughs> That's my point. <laughs> That's what the Quran is here to come to protect. It doesn't mean Lola. The Quran came here to confirm some aspects, some remnants of truth that is in the Bible, but okay. there are lots of falsehoods. Okay. So, so, tell me, so tell me something in the Torah that the Quran contradicts. It says, 
the Quran comes in and says, this is not what was in the actual Torah, this yeah. is what was in the actual Torah. For example, God rested on the seventh day. We don't believe in that. Yeah. I don't believe in that either. That's not Torah. But it's in the Torah. It's not Torah. God rested on the seventh day. Torah. Then what does it say instead? It says he ceased. You have to know Hebrew. So you believe God stopped? He stopped, yes. He stopped creating? Yes, stopped creating. That's the Torah. Why? The Quran says but that on this, there are six days he created, on the seventh he said it was wrong. So he doesn't, so he doesn't continue to create? He stopped creating. That doesn't mean he didn't start wait, again. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm, I, I'm asking you, do you believe that his attributes are infinite? His attributes what? So he's a creator. Yes, he is. Creator. So the creator he creates infinitely, correct? Yes. But, but you stopped, just said he stopped. He stopped creating the earth and he ascended the throne. So God, right? so, so God ceased to create says, at one point. That doesn't mean I can cease to do something and the next day go back and you, continue. Okay, when you say God ceased to create, that means he's yes. resting. Tiredness, fatigue. No, yes, not. yes. No, no, because, no, 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 look. I can run a mile, stop, and run another mile. No, no, no. That doesn't mean I'm no, tired. No, you're, you're limited. <laughs> Here's the difference. God creates, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions, he creates things that we know and that we do not know. Okay? Your concept of God is, God stopped creating. And that's the reason why God rested. He took a break. He took a break. So he took a break. Uh, why, why would he take a break? He ascended the throne. He fatigued. Tried this. No, no. He ascended the throne. He had something else to do. Yes. That, doesn't that show deficiency? No, no. It doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't show deficiency. Heaven forbid. So it doesn't show deficiency that God stopped creating. Why would it? He just stopped. But God, went back was God later. always Obviously the... Obviously he went back to it later because yeah. he said he and Esau was created in the womb of Mary. He went back to create it. Right. He just stopped. Okay, no problem. That's the meaning no of the problem. Hebrew. No Not problem. rested because he was tired. Okay, what about what about uh, Solomon uh, uh, David committing adultery? Oh, okay. What about it? Do you believe that? Yes. I don't believe in that. I believe in the previous... But you believe, but you believe in the Quran as well? Yes. So which one's right, the Quran or the Bible? Does the Quran say that David did not the commit Quran, adultery? The Quran, the Quran, uh, when we speak about prophets and messengers, we speak, they never commit major sins. Where does it say that? In the hadith. 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 In the hadith it mentions. No, no, no. So what I'm saying is... But I'm not, I'm not here arguing hadith. I'm here saying that I believe in the Quran. No, no, no. The all, no the all prophets and messengers, they're immune from making major sins. I disagree. Now they, you disagree? Yes, I disagree. Okay, what is the consequence of adultery? Stoning. Why wasn't David stoned? God forgave him and he was also oh, God king, forgave him. so kind of hard to stone the king. Right, so you believe that God, so you believe that God will appoint prophets who commit major sins. You believe that God will will uh, will choose prophets who commit major sins. Yes, but then how, but how, So he's not a good role model. How would you argue about what the Quran mentioned about Moses killing a man? Yeah, that's out of anger. But that's still. That's out. That, that's that's that's. No, that's that's out of anger. That's not malicious intention. So what I'm asking you is. I'm asking you, I'm not saying that the prophets don't make mistakes. Of course, they're, they're humans like us. However, they can make minor sins, no problem. Like forgetting, you know, these are human mistakes. Huh? That's not murder. Murder, okay. Murder by definition means you have malicious intention. That's not murder. That's out of his anger. And he sought forgiveness, right? And I'm not saying that prophets don't commit sins. What I'm saying, prophets commit minor sins, not major sins. Like idolatry, uh, you know, adultery, uh, killing people. No, this is wrong. David. So you believe that David is a good role model and he will commit adultery and we should follow him? He's not a good role model in all instances, no. So he's not a prophet, according to you? So he's not a prophet? He made mistakes, we should follow no, no, him. I'm asking you, no, no, I'm asking you, is he a prophet? But he committed major sin. Everyone does. No, not prophets. No prophet commits major sins. That's your opinion? No prophets will commit major that's sins. That's your opinion? No, that's not my opinion. That's from the Quran and the Sunnah. So, okay, you, uh, you, cannot, you cannot eat the cake and not eat it at the same time. Please show me that in the Quran. Huh? Please show me that in the every Quran. Every uh, in the Quran, uh, in, in the Hadith, the Messenger of Allah said that every, 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 every child is born as a sinner, but the best of sinners are those who repent. Okay, so every son of Adam also includes prophets. And that's the reason why in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions even Dawood alayhi salam did tawbah. He did repentance, but he did not. No, no, no. Look at the context. What is the story of Dawood? He made a misjudgment. That's from human error. Okay, now contrast this with your Bible that says David committed adultery. Or Yadibillah. How can you say. There. So which one do you agree? Do you agree with the Quran or the Bible? 
Both. How can you believe in both? We we must we must no no we no 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 you no 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 no. We believe that David is a prophet of God who would never commit such sins. Okay. The Old Testament says that he committed that major sin. So which one do you follow? You cannot follow them at the same time. I don't follow the where you're getting. Okay, Solomon committed idolatry. Do you believe in that? Yes. And he's a prophet. <laughs> Come on. Honestly speaking, I, I, I think you're trying to be a perennialist. I think you're a bit confused. Like, I think you're trying to you're trying to amalgamate both, and it doesn't work. Out. Either you believe. Please defend for me the major sin that Muhammad committed in the Quran. Prophet Pro Pro Muhammad has never committed a major sin. He did never. not pass on the words of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. What's that got to do with the major sin? That's a major sin. What was major? I'm referring to when uh, he uh, with Zayd. What? Zayd or Zainan is. Uh, no, that's not. No, that's not. He did not pass on the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah had to tell him. So, are you, so do you believe he's a false prophet then? You should have said. So, you believe he's a false prophet? No, 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 no. Don't play games with me. Uh, no, you are, you are playing games with me. You're playing games with me. I'm, I'm telling you what I I've met many people like you, and honestly speaking, no, I, I have, I have. What really? you do, You've met someone who's Torah observant, believes in the Quran, and. You're not a Torah observant. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. If you're Torah observant, does the Quran tell us to, for, uh, to keep the Sabbath? I was yes. hoping I could Where do you say that? For I us keep Muslims. the Sabbath. Huh? I keep the Sabbath. But the Quran doesn't tell us no, to follow the Sabbath. Absolutely so does. don't lie. Don't lie. Does. Don't lie, please. It says that those who don't lie. Keep the Sabbath Lola, just be honest. You're a Jew. You're from Michigan. No, no, yeah. Yes, you are. You're a Jew. Or oh, you're a Messianic Jew. I'm not a Messianic Jew. Yeah, what are you? Muslim. Born Muslim. No, you're not Muslim. You're not Muslim. A Muslim means someone, someone who submits to the will of the one true God and the final guidance, which is the Quran. And no, uh, what are the yeah, conditions? Alright, uh, let me ask you, what's the condition? Sure, what's the you condition? Say it with sincerity. Huh? You say it with sincerity and okay. your actions well, then follow up. Uh, and what's the action? Because they're still right. Submitting to Allah you follow, Allah. You follow Allah. all the prophets. And you, do you follow the Prophet Muhammad Yes. What do you follow? All of the prophets. But you just said you don't believe in the Sunnah. You put a different Bible before. You don't lie to me. Don't, don't, don't lie. Don't lie. Disagrees. No, don't lie. I don't believe in Sunnah that disagrees with the Quran and the previous scriptures. You're conflicted between Hadith and Sunnah. Hadith is the documentation yes, of his okay, okay. the Sunnah. Then I'll correct right? myself. Okay, Sunnah. I look, 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 get out of here. You have a pause? Huh? That disagree with the previous okay, scriptures. I hold the previous scriptures and the Quran higher than the Hadith. Yes, like less than one percent. Give the billah. The previous scripture. I've just proven to you that previous scripture is corrupted. No, you haven't. I've never. I asked you to give me one verse. I did. In the Quran that says that the previous scriptures were corrupted. I did. You had refuna kalimato. They 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 shifted the words. They decontextualized. Shifted the words. And, uh, yes. In every single copy. What does what does corruption no. mean? No. What does corruption mean? There's a lot of different ways you can describe it. I know, that. I know. Yeah. So what's the definition of corruption? Decontextualize it. Isn't that corruption? Yes it is. So please don't play games with us. Uh, because I have I have come I have come across with people like you, right? That like, you know you're trying to you're trying to play a game with me, right? And I don't appreciate that. Be very simple. If you're a Muslim, you will follow the Sunnah of the Prophet. You will not say, you know, I follow all the previous scriptures. No. What the Quran came here, the Quran is a quality control over the previous scriptures. Why? Let me tell you this. We do believe in the previous scriptures, in the previous revelations that was given to previous prophets. For example, the Torah, the Injil, the Zabur, right? What we say is we have no problem to accept that there are some remnants of truth in the Bible. Some remnants of truth. But what do we use? We use the Quran and the Sunnah. Oh, yeah, 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 okay? Yeah, yeah. Now there are some things that is corrupted in the Bible that is that we that contradicts the Quran and Sunnah. We reject that. I don't believe that there are things that are corrupted in the Bible. I believe it is the translation and the interpretation it is corrupted. Yeah. And, that is why God and the words the as well. That is why God sent the Quran to correct the interpretation, right? So, yeah. Because you know, Trinity does not come from the Bible. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Do you believe God can contradict himself? No. Can I, if I can point out many contradictions in the New Testament and the Old Testament, then? I could probably solve it for you. Oh, you could probably solve. Okay. By the way, I love your shirt. It's great. Thanks. And so, that's just, this is actually how I identify myself. Jesus was a Muslim. I am too. Ah, uh, no, you're not a Muslim. No, 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 no. That's not, no, no. That's, that's not one of the. You know. Why are you making takfir on me? No, I, I'm not making takfir. It's a fact. No, no, no. Okay. Yes, you are. No, it's the statement. Yes, you are. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying that any Muslim who's not a Muslim like you is not a Muslim. No, no, no. Sorry, it's a, but there's no. Shia, there's Ibadis. No, because there are many different kinds of Muslims. No, no, no. Don't no, even. No, Don't even. No, because you say David is a adulterer. 
That's kufr. 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 Yes, it is. Part of the tenet of Islam is that we believe all of the prophets are sinless. One branch. You can't. Yes, I agree with you. Not one branch. It's the it's the it's the it's the biggest branch. What do you mean by sin? I don't care. It's the biggest branch. We have to define sin before we we. Adultery is a sin. He say he say the prophets commit major sins. Yeah, adultery is a major sin. No, no, no. Prophets, of course, can commit minor sins, mistakes, no problem. Major sins, he said, he believed David committed adultery. Because David repented. And God encountered it to him as if it never happened. Okay, God bless him. Well, I mean, this goes back to the point about the kingdom. It's divided up into two parts. I believe, like, the southern kingdom may have made something down against the other kingdom, which would have included, like, demonizing David and making him if I can remember the passage, just give me one second. But in terms of like reversing things, yeah, and Solomon as well, I think. So you say you're a Muslim? Yeah. Okay, what makes you a Muslim? I just ask. Submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophets. And you make the shahada? I. Uh, not the shahada as commonly understood by most Muslims. If you don't make the shahada as commonly understood by most Muslims, then by definition, you're not a Muslim. Exactly. Yeah. You, you I believe that yeah. So is Fir'aun. Fir'aun said the same thing. Fir'aun says that. Wait, wait, wait. Fir'aun exactly. That Muhammad is uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Fir sorry, Fir sorry, Fir'aun said exactly the same thing. He said, I believe in the God and what, what Moses worship. Do? Wait, wait, wait. What did he not no, do? there was no he conviction. He did not obey. No, no, no. Exactly. Yeah, and you're not obeying. You're not obeying. I, I I, you're not obey. obeying the Prophet. I do obey. You don't obey the Prophet. You don't okay. obey Allah. You don't obey the Prophet. You don't. Really? You don't. What, what do I not obey? Please because tell me. Tell me about my life. You just you dismissed know. the Sunnah. You missed. You dismissed the Prophet Sunnah. No, I said the inauthentic ones. Inauthentic ones. Yes. The inauthentic the, the, the hadith. hadith that disagree with the Quran. Uh, okay. I do not follow. They're, okay. Wait. 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 When I say Sunnah, what I mean is the, the actions. Example, yeah. Not only example, I'm saying Sunnah, meaning there's four different classifications of Sunnah. Sunnah, I'll give you the four, the four categorizations, the four classifications. Sunnah Qawliya, the Sunnah of his sayings. Sunnah Fa'liya, his actions. Uh, sunnah Tartakiya, Sunnah of his tacit approvals. Yeah, his silence is his approval. And number four is Sunnah Tarqiyya. Sunnah of what he left, right? What you gotta do is ask him, do you know if he's a Muslim or not? Just ask him, is Jesus God? No, no we've already, we've already okay, discussed this. We discussed this. So if I pick up a contradiction in the Bible, Thank which you cannot. Uh, <laughs> so I'll, I'll get the passage out. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Michael Jordan's son, yeah? Terms of David. Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's move on. 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 Let's then would you would you retract your statement? I would probably study it for a few No, days there's days no room for study because what I'm going to show you is very... No, 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 come on. I'm not going to just reject uh, 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 something uh, 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 no, 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 Okay, no, no, no. let's do the test. Let's do the test, right? Yeah. So this is 2 Kings chapter 8, verse 26. I thought you were going to New Testament, okay? Yeah, the Old Testament. Okay. You, you believe, in the, you believe yeah. in the Old and New Testament? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. no problem. Oh, are you uh, you referring to... Yeah, yeah. Sure. right. So it says in 2 Kings... Chapter yeah. 8, verse 26. Yeah. He said, ah ah Ahaziah was 22 years old when he began to reign, and yeah. he reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Athelia. She was a granddaughter, granddaughter of Omri, king of Israel. I would highly okay. recommend going and reading a book called The uh, Mysterious Numbers of the Hebrew Kings. It came about, about 70 years yeah, ago. Yeah, I've got the Bible. I've, I've got the book, the Introduction to the Bible, Christian Hayes. So I, I'm okay. reading on that. So right. I don't well, So, is second the, Chronicles. Um, Oh. You have to understand, like, there's no way you can reconcile what I'm going to show you right now. Oh, no, no, no. I know where you're going with this. I already okay, know this. Okay, go on, tell me. Okay. Go on, tell me. There's verses about Ahaziah and how old he was when he became king, right? Okay, what you which, don't understand what passage? is that there was actually two different ways of counting the kings. Okay, that's mm. why I'm recommending to you the book, The Mysterious Numbers of the Hebrew Kings. Mm. Okay? But my brother. There were co regencies. This... Right. And so one is the age at which he became co-regent, and the other is the age at which he became king. Okay. Okay. Give me the definition of that. Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Yeah, break it down for me. 
because these are all big terms. So I want you to break it down. Okay. Co-regent means like he was serving as a sub-king under his father, much like MBS is, you know, kind of a co-regent today under okay. his father in Saudi. Right, right. Okay. In which case, when he was 42 and he said he reigned for one year, right. when it says he was 22, why didn't it say he reigned for 21 years? Because I'm telling he you. was exactly. co-regent co exactly. for 21 years. Right. 20 years and then he became regent or correct because they're not they're not accounting the co-regency as official years of being a king okay and that can be shown when you go and you really dig into the can you show me this yeah, yeah yeah show me on the phone show me it's it's really convoluted to go into here no no i, I, I want I'll to point you to up. my channel again okay what's your channel okay. yeah. we've got a video on there that goes into that but again also the book mysterious numbers of the hebrew kings will make it all very clear Okay, no, is there, but it, if it's, it's honestly, set aside a week to study it, because if you don't set aside at least a week, you're not going to understand it. Okay, my and brother, that's a week of my, my nine brother, to five okay. full time. So you believe there's no contradictions in the Bible? No, there are no contradictions. No contradiction. So how did, Jesus, uh, how did Judas die? How did Judas die? Yeah. Well, he hung himself. And, and the other passage? What? The other passage? I'd have to look it up. I don't have that. Like his bowls came out. His, his, yes. his, his goggles, his yes. bladder came yes. out. Yes. He hung yeah. there. How's that possible? And then fell. How's that possible? How's that possible? Hold on. Oh, no, he can't. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> he can't. He can't. Wait, hold on. He can't. How did he hang, you know it. You know it. How did he hang himself? How did he hang himself? Oh my gosh. There's a thousand ways to hang yourself. No. In this particular. How did he hang himself? It doesn't say. I don't care. What do you mean? Because it does. For your for your explanation to work, he would have had to hang himself by his feet no. because he fell head first and his guts. Exactly, out. his head yeah? fell first. He, he, he went. So the only Not way that he, he was can hanged. hang himself <laughs> and then fall head first is if he hung himself by his feet. Did you know Judas? Judas Iscariot didn't even exist. Judas Iscariot in Hebrew is Yehuda Iscariot. Do you know yeah, what Yehuda no, Iscariot no. means? It means the Jew, Jew from the city. Yeah. Didn't even exist. They just made him up. No, he was an actual person. They just made him up. But that's a clear contradiction. But that's a clear contradiction, right? No, it's not a clear contradiction. It is a clear contradiction. If, you, if you're hanged... There are wait, a lot of people in wait, 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 wait. only know wait, 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 Are you telling okay. me a person can be hanged and the, the, the head fell? Who's... who's come here's, on. Here's a contradiction. Two. First one, who's, um, what's his name? Joseph of Arimathea. Who's Joseph of Arimathea? In fact, where the hell is Arimathea? Nobody seems to know. Yeah. I'll end the discussion. That's the first one. Second, that's, okay. Nice picture. Second one, second one, right, is.